All righty. So are you prepared to get on a flight with your children and then have to explain why that dude is wearing a dress? Well, prepare thyself because apparently this is now a thing. According to the Wall Street Journal, when Tyler Curry joined JetBlue in 2022, he was surprised to learn the airline offered its employees the choice to wear whichever uniform they wanted, regardless of gender. Perhaps he was surprised because that policy is idiotic. That policy is really, really stupid. I will tell you why. Because boys should wear boy clothes and girls should wear girl clothes. I know this is really, really difficult stuff. That doesn't mean the girls can't wear pants. There are such things as girl pants. But um, as a general rule, yes, men should wear male clothes and females should wear female clothes. It is bad to deliberately blur the lines between the sexes. And it is particularly bad to expose children to that sort of gender confusion. It's all controversial in today's days and day and age when you can't come up with a justification, according to the left, for not just walking around bare ass naked in public. It's on an airline in front of children. Why can't you tell your children? Why? I mean, I'm perfectly happy to tell my kids why that dude is wearing a dress. You just are not going to like my explanation very much. But according to the Wall Street Journal, the New York-based in-flight crew member had not worn dresses before, but intrigued. He asked a female colleague if he could try hers on. So he'd never worn a dress before because society was like, well, yeah, that's, that's dumb. And then he was like, well, what if I wear a dress in public in front of all the customers? He liked the way it looked, so he took a leap of faith and ordered the dress. I used to be one of those people that would walk through work with my head down, just keeping myself. And when I wear the dress, it makes me feel more confident. I, I wasn't aware that employment was supposed to be about making you feel good about yourself. Sorry to break it to you. Get a dog. He said, now I walk through the airport with my head okay. up. Yes, but everyone else looks at you like you're a wild person because you're a dude wearing a dress. So I understand that Ben is a very conservative guy, you know. He's a Republican. He's a Christian, you know. He has a lot of moral values. <laughs> and I respect that, you know. Like I have said, countless times that it's always better to have people with different views than to have people with the same views. Which means that it's better to have a society made up with people with variety of views than with people with just one set of views. Society is always better when people have different opinions on the same thing. So that is why when I hear Ben Shapiro share his views on things he finds uncomfortable, I respect them. I don't agree with them, but I respect them. And I think as a free person, he has the right to his own opinions and thoughts. But this is what I think. You know, Ben overemphasized that people cross-dressing is going to confuse a lot of kids. And it's going to be a difficult job for parents to explain to their children why certain people are dressed up in certain attire or certain ways. Which I find it so ridiculous right because you know there are things that are really difficult to explain to children right for example like where do people go where they die when they die why do people have to die how did humans came to be you know these are very difficult questions to answer not actually educating your child on why certain people might like to dress in certain ways. Why certain people might choose to dress differently from others. And sometimes I realize that uh, certain things are giving too much attention, which I do believe it's not necessary. That's just me personally. I do think that sometimes we humans, we overthink things too much. Like simple things that we should just let them be there. We will overthink them, overplay them in our mind. And we will be there just talking about those things that are not really that important. Ben Shapiro must understand that he has to 
educate his kids. That is his responsibilities to educate them. And thinking that others will conform to what he thinks is proper so that he doesn't have the headache of teaching his children is just crazy. <laughs> because people would never conform to your set of values just so you don't have the headache of teaching your children why other people are dressed in a certain way and others are dressed in a certain way. And talking of people wearing skirts, right, many tribes or many countries around the world do dress differently. In Africa, we have hundreds of tribes and they all dress differently and some of them dressed up in skirt. So what are you going to say about that? Will it be wrong to dress in skirt? Because it's the traditional way of a certain tribe in Africa. So how do you plan on explaining that to your children? Will, will they get confused if they saw it? And if they do, what are you going to say to them? How are you going to educate them? <laughs> so I, I think that um, there are things that we spend so much time talking about them, whereby those things do not have any consequences to our life or daily activities. For example, if someone dresses the way they want, right? How does that affect us? How does that affect us? We are still going to be who we are. We are still going to be doing what we want to do. Now we might just have to explain to our children why they are dressing the way they want to dress or the way they are dressing, which is going to be something very simple like, he likes to dress like that, or she likes to dress like that, or she feels comfortable dressing like that. And in a free society, people have the right to do what they find pleasing to them. Case closed. Simple explanation. And your child will understand that as a free society, people have the right to do what they like to do. Simple. So I think that Ben Shapiro should calm down a little, right? And be ready to explain to his children when the time comes why certain people dress up the way they do. But you guys out there, do you think that Ben Shapiro's worries over the way people are dressed up is warranted, is necessary? Does he really have a genuine concern on the way people dress up? Let us know in the comment section below because like always, we love hearing what you have to say. And please do not forget to like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for doing just that. And like always, see you in the next one.